okay let us discuss this problem uh, this is a conversion of one compound to other compound so let us say this is a conversion kind of problem how will you make the, the uh, a compound with a given compound so let us say this is so how would you synthesize this compound using methylene cyclohexane as your starting material so this is your methyl lean cyclohexane so this molecule you have this molecule is given to you from this molecule we have to prepare some molecule so this molecule is methyl methylene methylene cyclohexane cyclohexane so you have been given this material so this is a starting material so using this how will you prepare the following compound a starting material you can take this as a starting material now using this you have to prepare the following compound so first is so you keep writing so using this compound how can you prepare a uh, this compound Now this is a one step reaction you know the answer basically what has happened you see here you have hydrogen two hydrogen now you have three hydrogen so one hydrogen is added at this position and one OH is added at this position this is a hydration reaction so now give me the reagent so hydration of alkene and this is a Marconica for anti Marconica Marconica because hydrogen has already gone to this position because here you have two hydrogen now here you have three hydrogen so hydrogen has gone to the more position where you have, you have more hydrogen already so this is a Marconikov addition so now you can do oxymercuration, demercuration or even you can do simply hydration H plus H2O or you can do oxymercuration, demercuration that will be the better option so HgOAC hold twice that is oxymercuration and demercuration is NaBH4 so you have to take NaBH4 that is demercuration so second step is demercuration step so HgOH3 hold twice oxymercuration this is also taken with the water water is solvent so this is the first step uh, oxymercuration second step is demercuration now let us discuss the next part you have been given this compound same compound the starting material is same for every case and you have to prepare this this is again easy one so here you have br so how will you do this one now see this is a addition of hbr here you have a hydrogen added you see there is a hydrogen that is added and there is a bromine that is basically two hydrogen you have so you one bromine is added now this is a, let me show you hydrogen so that you don't have any confusion now here also let us show the hydrogen are getting now you see hydrogen is added to the position where you have less hydrogen so give me the reagent yeah this is anti marconic of addition so what reagent you will use yeah uh, HBr with the presence of peroxide so you have to use HBr in the presence of peroxide ROOR or H2O2 or you simply can write peroxide so HBr in the presence of peroxide will give you the same reagent now C1 so let us discuss this one so you have this a starting material is same in each case if I do this and if I have to prepare this now this time I have to add OH here give me the reason so addition of OH is what anti Marconikov or Marconikov again HOH is anti Marconikov because H is added here so you see three hydrogen so hydrogen has added at this position and OH is added at this position so hydrogen is added less hydrogen where you have so this is anti Marconikov addition so anti Marconikov give me the reagent I will wait for one minute what is the reagent anti Marconikov addition of HOH yeah hydroboration oxidation BH3 insolvent THF so BH3 used insolvent THF and then hydroboration step and oxidation is H2O2 OH minus we have said in the class whenever you see peroxide 
you can remember this is always anti marconi cough either you have hbr use h2o2 peroxide anti marconi cough you have hydroboration oxidation again using h2o2 this again becomes anti marconi cough now let us discuss d part so if you have d part uh, this molecule you have to prepare so given molecule is this and using this you have to prepare uh, perhaps this question we have not discussed in the class this reaction already we have not discussed in the class uh, ozone analysis i will give you a hint you can do something kind of ozone analysis so let me see how many of you are able to do this one so you have to do you have to break this bond you see what is happening you see the changes if you break this bond then this becomes oxygen and this side also can so you can do ozone analysis are you getting or not either you can do reductive ozone analysis or you can do oxidative ozone analysis in both cases you will have a ketone there side so let us do ozone analysis o3 and let us do reductive ch3 all twice s so what will happen this bond will break so basically this bond will break and a product will get one product you will have a double bond o and another product hc double bond o are getting on so these are the two product you will get and i am only interested in this product so simply doing the reaction of ozone let's be are getting the product okay let us discuss next one e so what this is so again you have to using this compound you have to prepare here you have cs four cs3 so you see hydrogen 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 let me show the hydrogen so that things become simple now see what is the addition here you have three hydrogen here two hydrogen so one hydrogen is added and here o cs3 has been added so this is the addition of h o cs3 how will you do this one so this is simply addition of h and o cs3 is something like hydroboration oxidation in hydroboration oxidation you add h and oh but now if you take solvent o cs3 in that case you can add o cs3 so you have to do hydroboration oxidation but now only change the solvent hydroboration oxidation if you do in alcohol cs3 oh you'll get the desired product you see if you do hydroboration oxidation hgoac whole twice if you do in water solvent oh will be attacked here but if you do solvent ch3 oh ocs3 will attack here so you will have ocs3 next step demarcation same nabh4 this sometime also called alkoxy mercuration because this is alkoxy group So this is also called alkoxy mercuration demercuration. If you simply add OH, then it's called oxy mercuration demercuration. If you add alkoxy group, OCH3 group, or like you can take CH3CH2OH, CH3CH2CH2OH, you can change the R. So this is a alkoxy mercuration demercuration kind of thing. Are you getting? So I can say this reaction is. alkoxy alkoxy mercuration demercuration maybe a spelling will be not right mercuration alkoxy mercuration demercuration Okay, I think all of you have written this one. So let us go for the next question. So next says, I think we have written or not? Please keep copying fast because these are easy problems. So you have F. Now this says I have to prepare using this compound. Using this, I have to prepare. OH here I have to add and here also I have to add OH. You see what are the changes that is taking place? Hydrogen, hydrogen. This you can tell me the answer. H. 
Now, if you see this question, what has happened? Basically, you have added 2 H group. So, addition of 2 H group, how can I do? What are the reasons? Give me the answer. Yeah, cold KMNO4 or cold KMNO4. Or you can use OSO4, the resosmium tetroxide. So, either you can use cold KMNO4 or you can use osmium uh, tetroxide OSO4. In this case, you have to also take dilute, cold dilute KMNO4. Now, F, then let us go for Z. So, you have to prepare this. You've been given this, and you have to prepare this. Now, this you know basically. Uh, three membered ring. So, there is a three membered ring you have. This you know basically. How can you do? You see, how many carbon you have? 1, 2, 3 carbon. So, initially 1, 2 carbon. So, this seems there is a CH2 group that is injected within this double bond. And now, adding CH2 and 2 group, you know there are two, three methods we have discussed. Our first method is you can have CH2 and 2 heat. You will get a carbon and that will be injected. So, this is the one way. Another traffic you can have, you take uh, a CH2 I2 in the presence of zinc CH2 I2 in the presence of zinc this we have discussed in the class this reaction is called Simmons Smith reaction now this zinc is basically taken with copper also copper as acting as a catalyst basically increases the reactivity of zinc this does not has a much meaning it only increases the reactivity so if you simply write zinc this reaction will not take place. So, you write zinc with copper, zinc copper couple. So, this is a couple. So, you have a zinc plus copper. So, you just write zinc and in a small bracket you show the copper also. This is Siemens Smith reaction we have discussed in the class. CH2I2 plus ZNCU. This also forms a carbene and once the carbene is formed, you can basically injure the carbene between the double bond. Now, let us discuss next. H is this. Now, this one is easy one. Everybody can do this one. I think all of you can do this one. It's a morning time. So many autos are there. CLOH. You see what we have done. We have done. We have added one chlorine here. And one OH here. So, give me the reagent. I have to add OH and Cl. So, I have to use Cl2 and H2O. That is chlorine water or I can simply use HOCl. If you want, you can write HOCl or you can write uh, chlorinated water. So, let us say I. So, I you have. This one is again easy problem. So, here you have a double bond. And then you have. Here you have to add. Let us say this. BR BR This we have discussed in the class that is alpha elimination. So if you treat, can anybody give me the answer? Alpha elimination that is enough hint. Now you know the answer. Tell me. You have to remember the answers. So okay. So in this case you have to have CHBR3 and uh, CHBR3 should be taken in the presence of base. Are you getting? Okay, so let us copy this one. In this case, again, you will get the carbene and we'll discuss the next problem. Just copy this one. So, you should treat this CHBR3 in the presence of base. You will have alpha elimination and you will get the desired product. So, this finishes here. Now, we will discuss the next problem.